In this video, we're going to be looking at 6 tokens that could potentially turn people into millionaires. The ETF now is old news, that's in the rearview mirror, it's time for us to look straight into the windshield and see how we can take advantage of this year's bull run. So without further ado, let's go bank that coin! Francis Dune Uncensored! Welcome back to another video on Francis Dune Uncensored where we do have tomorrow's newspapers today. This is the Smart Money Channel. If you're new here, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you hit that bell notification button so you don't miss it on anything. We're gonna be dropping some straight fire picks here. And since the Bitcoin ETF has been approved, now it's gonna be bullish times, we all know this. And there's no better place to look other than where we think this money's gonna go into and look no further than these launch pads. As you guys know, if you've been here on this channel during the last bull run on Ethereum, launchpad tokens are the ones that appreciate the most, and even those tokens that are going onto the launch pads, we're going to be looking at six different launch pads that you need to be paying some serious attention to before they catch wind and the market cap grows on these particular tokens. So let me share my screen and we're at coingecko.com as you can see for the most part everything is green bitcoin is doing its thing a little bit of a retrace but 46,473 it's good times in the market so that could only mean one thing let's go bank coin so the first launch pad we're going to be looking at guys okay this is oxbull okay oxbull.tech now over here last bull run man these guys went on fire Okay, one of the better performing projects came out of Oxbow, and right here on the right, they're ranking them here. They're called the Hall of Fame. This is Kate Coin, um, Altura, Blocktopia. For the people who knows that, that did like I think it was something like a thousand X over a thousand X. Um, Cytus Heroes as well did really well, and you know I think these guys are going to catch wind pretty soon. And as you can see right here, this is the new token, okay, that they are using. And I want to make this clear. This video is not on how to use these launch pads. This video is on the particular tokens that these launch pads use. And then in future videos, I could kind of revisit that on how you could get into these uh, various launch pads, okay? So we're just talking about the tokens today. That's where the money's at. So that's you know, the most important thing, at least as of now. So this market cap is at 3.7 million very small, very tiny. And if we look in the last, let's go back to one month. If I'm not blocking it. You will see that how it is somewhat on a discount. It was at 16 cents and it came tumbling down to about 11. But you guys know how this game is played. When the times get bullish, as we're seeing right now, um, and, and, and the overall crypto market capitalization is actually growing, what we're going to see here is stupid stupid money is going to start flying in and people are always going to want their, to get their hands on these particular launch pad tokens okay and this is where i'm personally going to be putting my um allocating some funds to and i want to be very transparent bro i don't even own any single one of these um launch pad tokens as yet real talk i don't i'm just dropping value okay so this is their new token i don't know how new it is um, CoinGecko is telling us how they have since changed from Polygon to BSC contract, and this is the new token, guys. Let's go on over here. This is their Twitter. So KY Labs or KWAI Labs, they do have a pre-sale happening right now, okay? Again, this video is not about the particular projects going on these launch pads. This video is about the particular launch pad tokens that could boom and make millions. And, you know, I don't say that for hyperbole, bro. I, If you've been following me last year, Ethereum DeFi, that's exactly what it did for me and some of my subscribers. So I'm only speaking off of past experience here, right? Let's carry on, guys. And once again... Highly recommend you guys come to CoinGecko and check this out. Break it down on your own. You know, it does have, let's see the markets. Click that. Um, it's on PancakeSwap right now. Go check it out and see, you know. Make sure it has enough liquidity in the pool and all of that um, cool stuff, okay? Moving on to the second one, and this is not in order. I'm just listing them, right? This is not chronological order. It's just mixed up. So the next one we're going to be looking at right here, guys, is TurtSat. They had a bit of a correction, and we'll get to that shortly. Now, this is a Bitcoin launchpad or a BRC20 launchpad. They made a name for themselves not too long ago. You know, the project's coming on, going on to this launchpad, rather, has done tremendously well. Over 400x for a particular one, over 100x, 50x, things like that. And we're not even in a full-fledged bull run just yet, okay? So let's take a look at their price. It's just over 3 cents, 0.03276. It's up 10% for the day, and as I already mentioned, it is um, on a bit of a discount, right? As you can see right here, all-time high was, well, is that the all-time high? Let's just see here. 
yeah, all time high was 10 cents, okay, or just under 11 cents right there, not too long ago, um, December 21st, okay, right there. And as it stands right now, we're looking at three and a half cents, okay? So you are getting a discount on this particular launch pad for whatever reason. And I believe what happened was one of the projects that launched here, some issues took place with that bridge, I believe. And a lot of people are taken out on the launch pad. So they're, they were selling their tokens. But again, you guys know how the game is. <laughs> Once people start making money, let's just say Turt Sat launches another project and that booms, what is going to happen? That's going to be a forgotten memory, okay? And again, it's not the launch pad's fault um, at the same time. Whatever happened with that bridge, I think it was Movie Bridge, had some issues over there. Um, I don't know the specifics behind it, but people took it out on the actual launch pad. And again, human psychology, they always act off of emotions. So they get pissed and once the next project goes and makes people money, they're going to get all giddy and happy and excited and the people, people are going to come here and buy this token up. That's what I'm going off of. I go off of market sentiment, bro. It's the best way to do it. Forget that TA shit. TA don't really take you too far. TA could take you this far. Market sentiment could take you that far. You know why? Because if you're so big into TA, where the heck was your Gary Ginsler ETF Twitter hack indicator? Right? So it's all about market sentiment. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. And um, I believe things will actually change here once they drop the next project and as long as it banks coin. See what I'm saying? And uh, so far, every single project on TurdSat has been profitable. I think the worst was about a 3x or something like that. And um, that's a very good sign. Okay, moving on to the next one here. We're going to go with Paid Network, Kyle Chasse. Mr. Kyle Chasse. Hey, if there's one thing we could rely on Kyle Chasse to do, that's to pump the shit out of Paid. You know what I'm saying? So we're coming back here with Paid. And for those who know, this is something that we got into um, in Ethereum DeFi. And Paid Network does carry on a good reputation in the Launchpad space. They do bring tokens on here that do moon. Um, but once again, this is about the actual Launchpad token. Not so much. And look at this shit. This shit's on a rip already. When I just saw it, it was like about 34% up. Okay? So, holy crap, bro. Literally. Literally, before I was, made, I was preparing for this video, this thing was not that far up. It was like 30% up. So, um, this is something... You guys, look at this dip. Holy... Bro, this, this green dildo just came here in real time. Okay? So... Wow. Now, this is something you might want to see if it pulls back before you get into. But at some point, bro, like, I remember from my past mistakes, bro, with Launchpad tokens, I always would say, okay, I'm going to wait for the dip. I'm going to wait for the dip. I'm going to wait for the dip. And the dip never comes. It just goes up, goes up, goes up. And that's the nature of a true bullish sign when it comes to Launchpad tokens. A Launchpad token, like, some of them, bro, if they keep on delivering quality projects over and over, bro, it's very far and in between to see a pullback. Why would people pull back? It's just, cause, it's just going to cause more demand. You know, you stake these tokens, they're locked up, they deliver a good project that did X amount of gains, uh, and then people just buy it up, buy it up, the word gets out, and next thing you know, you never really see a pullback. Now, is that going to happen on paid network? I don't know. But um, we could look at its market cap, and this one's a little bit higher than the other launch pads, 62,261,000 MC. Now, that is still low, moderate, moderately low. I'll tell you why. Because the overall crypto market capitalization right now today says it's um, 1.86 million. And if you guys believe in this Bitcoin ETF is going to bring in new funds, well, that 1.86, sorry, that's 1.86 trillion, my apologies, is not going to stay at that figure. And, um, you know, yeah, sure, at the time, this may seem high, 62 million, but as the overall market capitalization pops off, guess what? This figure here now is 62 million is not the same 62 million, okay? So that's how I look at it. And also, you can look at the number. It's 522, okay? 522 crypto by market cap. That's still low, in my opinion, and it does have room to grow. And again, I'm just saying, you guys take a look and see when you want to enter into this particular one, if you see the same things as I do. And once again, Mr. Kyle Chasse is the type of guy that's going to pump this shit, okay? Okay, trust me. He's, he's, he's that dude, okay? He, he will pump it, <laughs> all right? Let's carry on, ladies and gentlemen. I know, by the way, this is the website over here, ignition.paidnetwork.com. Bro, let me tell you guys, it's all about launchpad tokens, okay? This is what I could only tell you from my past experience. I don't own this right now, but I'm going to buy some of these, on like all of these ones here, okay? I just want to get the video out. Now, what takes advantage of the bull run the most? 
This new project's coming coming in, going on launch pads. That's just how it works, okay? Launch pad tokens are the ones that perform the best outside of blockchains, launch pads in a bull run. That's just how it is. It's all about market sentiment and people are bullish to throw their money on things. Dumb money comes in into launch pads and those tokens boom, okay? Let's see where this stands a month from now, two months from now. I don't think it's going to be here. It's got, these tokens are going to be higher, but we'll see. And that brings us down to DuckDAO, bro. What can I say about DuckDAO? First of all, DuckDAO were the leaders in the whole entire launchpad, you know, um, sector. They were the true pioneers of launchpads, okay? They were the first ones to do this in the Ethereum DeFi bull run, and then everybody else saw what they were doing. They pretty much did what DuckDAO did, repackaged it, then came to market, you know what I'm saying? So I got to give it up to the true OGs. The ducks never, ever, ever es underestimate the ducks, right? So this is their website over here, guys. We're going to head on over to the uh, CoinGecko to see some information on their token, which they don't use the DDIM anymore. I believe they merged it, as you can see here. DDIM and duck. So the particular the token on hand right now is DD, right? And I believe that came from like DDIM and duck. You get the D and the D, and then you get DD, okay? So here we go right now. This is, well, what is this? This is a 30-day chart. We could go further back, but yeah, this came out in about December, so that should be up to date, right? It started off at about 70 cents, at least according to Coin Gecko, and it went all the way up right now to about 2030 cents. I don't believe the market cap is here, but this is a lower cap one, it's definitely under 60 million. So, if you're into that in terms of you value lower market cap with more upside, I think Duck Dow's token here, DD, is just for you and they're now getting started i think they already did um one project the first project um since the last bull run uh, i'm not too sure about the results on that as yet then again this video is not about the projects going on launch pads this is about launch pad tokens where the money's at that could potentially make millions that's what this is about okay as we come over here this is being traded on uniswap you click that it's going to open up the pool and this token is traded right now at two dollars and 32 cents okay guys that's the information there. If you want the actual, um, you know, link to the V3, you click the markets. Well, sorry, V2. So it's on Uniswap V2. Check them out on CoinGecko. Click this link, and then that should direct you to over here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? So, highly recommend you guys go on and check out some DD tokens from DuckDAO, the pioneers when it comes to launch pads. Moving on. So, now we're going to be looking at a particular token and launch pad that's on layer one bitcoin that i first brought to you guys like about months ago um this was before they were a launch pad on layer one you know they used to be on layer two launch pad only but here they are we're talking about the none and only alex lab okay this is a stacks ecosystem project they also again they are on layer one in terms of launching layer one projects is what i should say not that they are on layer one Okay, this is their Twitter. You guys probably know this by now. If we go on over to CoinGecko, we're going to check out Alex Labs token. It's trading at about $0.32 cents at the moment. And you could obviously find this on Gate.io. They have it on MXEC. But you could also go to their own um, app right here, which we'll go to momentarily, and trade it up. If you already own Stacks, you could get some of these Alex. Now, if you guys were following the channel earlier in the year... Alex was trading at about six and a half cents or less. Probably about, let's just say six cents. And, you know, we made some nice gains from that. But this was before they were conducting layer one projects on their launch pad. And I believe the new meta in 2024 is going to entail building on Bitcoin. That's going to be the new trend here. And we've been on this trend for the past like 11 months now or so. Well, 10 months, maybe 11 actually. But you know what I mean? So we're going to see this trend continue. And as we go over to Alex, they actually had one of the better BRC20 projects in the entire space, in my humble opinion. You know, top top three for sure, you know what I'm saying, which is Ords Games, okay? That's ticker ORDG, I believe. Or did they just change that recently? I think they just changed it recently. But this is according to Alex Lab, okay? So this particular project here, Ords Games, um, they're actually building full-fledged games on Bitcoin. Full living, breathing games on Bitcoin. It's actually pretty cool. A lot of people don't understand that you could do these things on Bitcoin. They don't understand that this is capable, but um, it is. So to see them have such a high-end quality project like Ords Games really took me by surprise. So um, I'm really interested to see what else, what other projects they'll be having. And that should also now drive demand for the Alex token. And again, this video is not about how you actually get 
into these particular um, launchpad projects. It's about the pro it's about the launchpad itself. I want to stress that. But you do have to stake Alex to get something called A power. You get that A power. That's your ticket into the next project. Okay. But I could do a full in depth video on you know how to get into these various. IDOs and uh, launch pads in future videos. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. All right. And if we carry on over here, or it's games, check them out, man. Actually, fuck, I'm not even following them. Let me follow them. They're pretty damn solid. The first gaming project on Bitcoin launched March 22nd, powered by ORDG. So that is a ticker. They didn't change it. My, my apologies. Website, orts.games. Go check them out. And what else we got down here? Okay, that's just a mistake. Now we'll carry on over here. Let's carry on over to Pools. Pools is one of the other launch pads that's been around for some time. They have experience, and I want to stress this. When it comes to launch pads, make sure you're checking out the ones that, that aren't really that new, but the ones that know what they're doing and that and that has proven themselves over the test of time. So this is why we're going to the ones that we've had experience with because we know they're capable, right? It's not the first rodeo. And they've seen a lot more things than see a project or a, a launch pad that just popped up yesterday. Now, one could argue that how, you know, Turt Sat A falls in that category of a new um, sort of launch pad, but it's one of the few on Bitcoin, or I shouldn't say on Bitcoin, but one of the few that is um, targeting the Bitcoin sector, okay, development on Bitcoin. All right, guys? Um, so that's why I think it's pretty unique in its own right. Now, speaking of pretty unique, I think Pools Finance, we got them at $4.64. Now, the market cap is $22 million. That's small. They're at 887 market capitalization um, of all cryptocurrencies. Now, what do we have here? I think we got somewhat of a minor discount. It was $6.23. Now, it's trading at about $4.66. Where are their particular markets? Where can we get this? So, Pancake Swap looks like the top. We got about, well, actually, HTX. All right, that's a sex. And the trading volume there is just under 1 million. So there's some nice trading volume over there. If you have an account at, I believe, what's that, Hubi? Whatever it is, HTX. I don't really mess with sexes. If, when I come to buy this, it will be a Pancake Swap V3 in my, um, that's just me. But if you don't mind going to sex, go ahead. All right, guys. So that's what we got there. And this is their website, pools.finance. Um, check them out. You can find the specifics on how to get into the next project. I believe you go to dashboard and you take it from there. You got to sync in your wallet, which I'm not going to do right now. And that's that, ladies and gentlemen. So we did go over Oxbull that has an impeccable track record when you look at their previous projects from the past. We did take a look at Turt Sats, which is a new one, but it is pretty unique in its own right because they are conducting these projects on Bitcoin and their pre-sales so far has been straight freaking fire. People have been laughing to the bank. I know they had some issues with Mubi, I believe, and that's why you're seeing this particular discount. But once again, whatever people's doing, I do the damn opposite, bro. That's market sentiment. So I'll be scooping some up some of these tokens and I bet you in about a month or less we're going to see this price at least three times more or something like that we'll see um then we got obviously paid network Mr. Kyle Chasser he's going to be pumping the shit out of this so you best you know take a he probably look he already is pumping the shit out of this you know what I'm saying so if you think there's going to be a pullback then you know you do you and uh wait for a better entry price um right we got the ducks the pioneers of launch pads when it comes to launch pads these guys know it best big shout out to duck Dow, ken and lucas doing some good work do look forward to see what seeing what you guys have in store for us here in 2024 the most epic bull run we're ever going to experience is this year really do look forward to your um future developments over there uh duck Dow. and we also got a big up uh, alex lab alex lab is doing great things um their first project was straight fire with ords games and um, what can I say? We do have Pools, another experienced veteran launch pad in the launch pad space, guys. So there you have it. We went over those six particular launch pads, and I believe they could produce us some gains. They're going to get some nice gainers. They're going to get the nice rip, the green in the, um, in, in, in the graphs. And um, I do look forward to seeing that. I'm going to actually be copying some of these right now after the video. And we'll take it from there, guys. I hope you appreciate this. I hope you understand why we're talking about launch pads because that's where the dumb money comes. And this is the smart money channel, right? We take advantage of dumb money. So you know what? There ain't really much left to say other than until the next video, you're on your own. Later. Francis Dune Uncensored.